Almighty God, we are thankful today that what the enemy meant for evil, you shall use for good. Father, we thank you that you are giving beauty for ashes. Father, we are reminded of Joseph in his season in prison. And this morning, we know that for every prison, there is a palace. Lord, we are reminded of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the season when they were thrown in flames. Father, you gave them beauty for ashes. Today, we stand in agreement with anyone that has gone through disappointment, through discouragement, through any disease, through any depression, through any form of grief, any debts, any lack, any shame in their lives. We're standing in faith for their restoration. For Father, according to Isaiah 61 verse 3, you are binding up their broken heart. You are restoring liberty to the captives. You are releasing from the darkness the prisoners. You are proclaiming the year of the Lord's favor. You are comforting the morning. You are providing for those who grieve in Zion. You are bestowing on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes oil of joy instead of mourning, a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be like oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. Father, you are ready to lift up someone for your glory. You are ready to dust off someone for your honor. You are ready to elevate someone for your glory. You are ready to promote someone for your glory. You are placing upon them a crown of gladness. Father, you are restoring what the locusts had eaten. And so we stand in agreement and we stand in faith that every discouragement is gone. From today onwards, you are infusing trust into their hearts that indeed the ashes are gone and beauty is there instead. For every person that has been disappointed, Father, we thank you that you are infusing hope. They are receiving new hope for the future. They are receiving new strength for the future. They are receiving new grace to carry on. They are receiving new faith to walk the journey again with zeal and excitement. Thank you that you are restoring their passion. Thank you that you're restoring their love again. Thank you that you are teaching them to love again. Thank you that for every person that has gone through diseases, that Lord, you are restoring their health. You are giving them new energy. You are giving them new strength. You are revitalizing their mortal bodies. You are quickening them for the work of ministry. You are quickening them for their assignments. You are quickening them for their families in the name of Jesus. We declare that there is a dusting off of all ashes. Thank you that you are removing all shame. You are taking away the shame of the past. Your word says you shall know no shame of your youth. Instead of a spirit of despair, you are giving them a garment of praise. They shall indeed be called oaks of righteousness, planted by God for the display of of his splendor. They shall be separated from their past. They shall be completely detached from their past. You are taking back their names from where they had been taken. You are taking back their names from the places of shame. You are taking back their names from the altars of shame. You are taking back their names and you are restoring once again their identity. God, we thank you that you are dusting off all ashes. Thank you that for David, there was a second chance. Thank you that for Samson, there was a second chance. For you are the God of second chances. And so today we are thankful that you are dusting off all ashes. 
in the places where their shame had discouraged them from their assignments. Father, we declare and decree a restoration into the places of their assignments. They will step back into those positions with a revitalized strength to fulfill the will of the Lord. Not by might, neither by power, but by the Spirit of God. For according to Isaiah 61 verse 7, instead of our shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of our dishonor, there shall be rejoicing in our lot. Therefore, in our land, we shall possess a double portion. We shall have an everlasting joy. Thank you, God, that according to Isaiah 50 verse 7, the Lord helps us. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Therefore, we have not set our face like a flint, for we know that we shall not be put to shame again. We thank you that we have a perfect example in Jesus. For according to Hebrews 12 verse 2, we look to Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising its shame, and is now seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Thank you, King of Glory, that according to Psalms 34 verse 4, those who look to God are radiant. Their faces shall never be ashamed. We're standing in faith with Romans 10 verse 11 that says everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. We declare today that you are dusting off all ashes. Father, we refuse to be connected to our past for according to Romans 8 verse 1, you say there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Thank you that according to Psalm 3 verse 3, you are our shield, our glory, the lifter of our heads. So we do not fear. We are not ashamed. We shall not be confounded. We shall not be disgraced. We shall know no shame of our youth. And so as we end today, we say, oh God, crown our heads with gladness. Restore what the locusts had eaten. Rebuild our land and dust off all ashes. My name is Rutendo Melody Gambiza and I am the founder of House of Hosting Heaven. And today you have been listening to The Prayer List, a platform where we touch and agree in prayer. Today's anchor statement was dust of all ashes. I hope that you touched and agreed and that you share this video with someone who you know needs to touch and agree. See you in the next prayer list.